I spent years trying to find good electrolyte mixes and I found my top three now, Gorilla, Relight and the Keto Pro. They're all different and one stands out above all for me personally, but you may prefer a different one based on your individual situation at the time. I've tried these over a long period of time instead of just one-offs here and there, so you get a better picture of how good or bad they are. I also bought them all with my own money that came from YouTube ad revenue, so I wasn't given any for free. Uh, none of these companies had a hand in what I say here, and I also have zero affiliate links for you to go and buy them, so I have no bias in recommending any particular one above all. Um, in general, look for things like this when buying any electrolyte powder from anywhere. Have no carbs such as dextrose, uh, maltodextrin and sucrose because you're not after an insulin release. Avoid sweeteners like Zorbitol and Zolitol because they can still be absorbed quite highly. If there's any flavoring inside, then something like stevia is better because of the lowered absorption. Use forms of elements which are more bioavailable, for example, magnesium citrate instead of magnesium oxide. Understand that calcium can inhibit the absorption of other elements. So think twice about products that have calcium in them in high amounts. Uh, don't fear salt slash sodium because it's absolutely essential for us. If there's high sodium, then ensure you have enough potassium because sodium can make it more difficult for us to get enough potassium due to how the kidneys process sodium. And I'll explain this later on in the video. If they don't taste salty, then you're wasting your time. And finally, don't buy any electrolyte products that taste sweet with no saltiness, because that's a sign it's been made to taste good instead of actually optimizing your electrolyte levels. In my personal opinion, Prime is one of the worst hydration drinks ever made, and that's one of the many reasons why. We'll start with Gorilla, which I have here. It's made by the guy behind uh, More Plates, More Dates on YouTube. His name is Derek something or other. Um, he's got quite a lot of products in his cells and I've tried his electrolytes now for probably around six months or so. There's multiple flavors and I've tried every single one. Jungle Juice, which is a bit of a, like a tropical flavor. Grape, cherry, and this one here, which is Bombsicle. It's like a sort of fizzy candy flavor. They all taste good. Um, I prefer the cherry one the most. There's no carbs, artificial sweeteners or colors because it uses stevia instead for some flavor. But the most important thing is the ingredient list. In terms of the actual electrolytes, which is written on the back here, it's got heavy amounts of sodium, which is 750 milligrams, which is great, um, as well as chloride, magnesium, phosphorus, iodine, uh, potassium, and calcium as well. The potassium is in the form of potassium chloride, iodide, and phosphate, um, which are decent forms, and the magnesium is a bisglycinate, which again is a great form because it's very bioavailable but it's also got taurine here, and I can't work out how much, which is disappointing. If I've missed something and it is written somewhere, then please let me know in the comments and I'll make an amendment in a pinned comment under the video as well. Um, it's sweetened with stevia, which I think is much better than the alternatives, and it's also got vitamin K2 in the MK7 form. However, it doesn't say if the MK7 is in trans or cis form, which I think is quite important. But again, let me know in the comments if I've if I've if it's written somewhere and I've missed it. Uh, I am human after all, and that's not a gender thing, by the way. The trans and cis um, that terminology has been used in chemistry long before any gender identity contexts. Um, and as far as I'm aware, we need the trans form for our species' physiology. And at the time of filming, at least, they haven't gotten back to me yet on which they used. If they do, I'll pin a comment down below as an update, so please check for that when you watch this. Um, I'll get my new editing team, Longwave Digital, to pull up this ingredients list on screen for you here. Um, you should see that overall, I think it has decent ratios between the different electrolytes. However, for me, the issue is the calcium. I think generally calcium supplementation, um, you know, it's for people who for some reason specifically need it because there are numerous risks with calcium supplementation, which you can look up. But that being said, those risks are generally there because there isn't enough adequate vitamin K2 alongside, in my opinion. So the fact that Derek has included K2 
with his calcium is actually really impressive because that's such a sensible thing to do. And that's why even though I would never look at electrolytes with calcium normally, this one I believe is a cut above the rest and is refreshingly nice to have on the market um, because of that K2 which has been added. The gray area is still though whether it inhibits the absorption of other minerals by taking it alongside. On the plus side, another really impressive thing with this product is that on the website, there's third party testing results where you can look up to see that what's advertised as being in the product is actually in there. Overall, I think it's a great product and it's been made by someone who has thought things through in terms of the formulation more than most of the products on the market. Now, one box of 30 sachets at full price is $45 at the time of making this video, but currently there is a 20% off deal at the time of filming. I think this is quite expensive compared to what else I'm about to show you, and the price alongside the lack of clarity on K2 MK7 form on the website are the only negative things I have to say about it, really. Next up is Relight's Hydration. Um, I've taken this for about six months too. There's multiple flavors again, like berry, lemon alive, strawberry, watermelon, mango, pina colada, and this one is unflavored. Again, it's, there's no carbohydrates or artificial sweeteners like Gorilla. Um, instead, it uses Stevia, not this one, but the flavored ones, um, which is good if you can't stand this unflavored one, which I've used, and it is just about palatable. But what about the ingredients? The magnesium and potassium are in citrate form, which you can see on the ingredients list, which should be on screen now, um, of the lemon and lime flavor on screen. Um, there's plenty of sodium at 810 milligrams, as well as chloride at 1280 milligrams. However, the calcium doesn't come with K2. There's coconut water powder, which might contain other things. And the potassium amount is on the borderline of just about being enough based on the amount of sodium that's present as well. The sodium to potassium ratio matters because the nephrons, which are structures in the kidneys, pull a lot of the sodium back into the body, but they can't do this for, for potassium to the same extent. And this is why at the bare minimum, if you have a certain amount of sodium in a formula, I think it's best to have at least half that same amount for potassium as well. So Relight with 810 milligrams of sodium um, has 400 milligrams of potassium, which is just about 50%. Gorilla is at around 73% though, so I think that one's better in this respect. However, with that being said, even though I think Gorilla is better than this, Relight still has some reasons for being in the top three for me personally. Number one, it works out at roughly 21 pounds for 30 servings, which is really good value for money. Number two, there's loads of flavors as well as stick packs and even variety packs of flavors. So for those that need those options, that could be a one for you. Um, and finally, number three, it's a bit more available than Gorilla because there's a uh, distribution for Relight outside of the USA, which means you don't have the high shipping cost that Gorilla does when they post it from the US to wherever you are. So there's negatives in the ingredient list, but positives outside that. You can decide for yourself which you value more. The final one is the Keto Pro. Uh, for me personally, this is definitely the best and for many, many reasons. First off, it's the highest value for money when you look at the price versus how much you get. Um, secondly, I think it has the best taste, um, but please remember that that's gonna be personal for everyone. And thirdly, I think the ingredient list on this is the best on the market, which is the thing you should be buying it for above all. The ingredient list of this cherry flavor should hopefully be on screen now. Look at the one-to-one -one ratio of sodium to potassium. This is made by someone that understands kidney function and sodium reabsorption. It's got plenty of salt in there too for chloride. However, it will be nice if the amount of chloride was stated. Uh, the forms of sodium, magnesium, and potassium are either citrate or carbonate, which are very bioavailable. It's got no artificial sweeteners like sucro sucralose. Um, it uses stevia instead again. Um, it has no calcium to prevent other ingredients from absorbing. 
And you know what? As bonuses, it has molybdenum. Let me face that on the camera up there. It has molybdenum, which can help joints and DNA. It has selenium, which is useful for thyroid function. And it also has the most powerful antioxidant in nature, which is astaxanthin. Now, if I'm not wrong, this particular form of astaxanthin isn't synthetic and so should be easier to absorb. I don't know how much easier, but I would suspect it's highly significant. Um, do you know, a useful characteristic of astaxanthin is that it can cross blood barriers to help things like the brain and the eyes. On top of that, I found this cherry flavor to be the best tasting electrolyte powder I have ever tried. Even when you just open the lid, it makes you want to drink it. The unflavored is quite some of it went into my nose there. The unflavored is quite salty as it suspects uh, and also hope for, but it's not ridiculous and I can easily have that if needed as well. The unflavored is great for people that are really strict carnivore and want to avoid the stevia. And there's also a lemon and orange flavor if you prefer more of a citrusy taste. So for the highest value for money, let me face the camera again, there we go. For the highest value for money, the best formula and the best taste, this is easily my number one recommended electrolyte product out there. And I don't use anything else now. However, there are two minor downsides to it. The first one is that the company doesn't put the shipping cost to places outside of the UK, um, at least at the time of filming. I didn't see that on the site. And to see how much it would cost to ship somewhere else, you need to email them with what you'd like to buy, and then they can give you a quote. It'd be better if there was some sort of calculator on the page, which they might have made um, by now, by the time this video comes out. Uh, but regardless, that has nothing to do with the actual quality of the product. It's just a website thing. Second, I would have loved to have had seen a third party testing certificate on the website to show that what's advertised is exactly what's in the product. However, I have absolutely no doubt that that's the case anyway. A certificate would just be a cherry on the top. Um, no pun intended. Other electrolytes I've also tried in the past were Element, spelt L-M-N-T, Revival, Liquid IV, SIS, spelt S-I-S, Dr. Berg and O-R-S. I haven't spoken about those here because I just flat out didn't think they were as good as the three in this video. And Element is one that I urge people to think twice about because it's involved with Peter Atiyah, who I believe is now in a lawsuit at the time of filming this for allegedly having links to what he promotes in a questionable way, shall we say, as far as I can work out. And so I personally don't know whether you should trust anything he puts his name to, frankly. Um, there's even alleged evidence floating around if you look for it that some of his recommendations, like um, in his tweets, were made immediately after someone emailed him asking him to say something good about their product with financial incentives uh, potentially attached as well, allegedly. Uh, the products mentioned here today, uh, Gorilla, Relight and the Keto Pro are ones that I think are free of that kind of dodgy business though. And I have no connection to any of the manufacturers. And like I said, there are no affiliate links here. If you've tried any of the brands I've mentioned here today or others, please comment below um, what you thought of them because I might make a follow-up video with other brands reviewed if you put one down that I haven't checked out yet.